Hello, welcome to Tangible Investments and today's subject is should you buy old sovereigns or collect old sovereigns or should you buy new gold sovereigns? I'm going to make this really simple for you and give you my um, opinion based on my, you could say, you know, limited experience of collecting gold coins and making mistakes and just buying crap in the past and just overpaying for things. Um, and basically my conclusion is this, if you are new to coin collecting and you know zilch and you know nothing and you're not going to be able to really spend the time and effort into looking into investing um, into old sovereigns and paying over the spot bullion price for something based on its age, e.g. this is a 1899 gold sovereign, I paid more than the bullion price at the time. So at the time of purchasing this 1899 gold sovereign, I think sovereigns were about 240 pounds each, and I paid something like 300 pounds for this, so I paid quite a fair whack over spot. It probably could argue I paid too much. I mean, I just particularly, at the time, had a burning lust to have a sovereign that was in the 1800s for some reason, and it just came up and it was around and I was going to buy a sovereign anyway and I just bought this okay um, and it is what it is it doesn't have to be in a slab and I'm just saying you can get plenty of old sovereigns this sovereign here is a best value 1913 sovereign I bought from a very well known online bullion site pretty annoyed actually I mean it was best value I get that but I mean it was a horrific black spotting there and it's just like literally they couldn't have dug out of the drawer any more worse piece of junk i shouldn't say the worst piece of junk but you know it's a little bit gutting with hindsight rather than save myself six pounds i would have paid extra at the time and had a brand new sovereign okay um that i know is is you know i mean they're both sovereigns obviously they're both the same um they're both theoretically got the same value, you know. But obviously, you could argue, yeah, is this numerous math? Is this is this older sovereign that's got an issue really worth an issue? You know, it's a sovereign at the end of the day. It's just a bullion coin. You've got to realise that. Um, if it didn't have this mark on it, it probably, probably, would be worth a bit more than this brand new one. Okay. Now this um, this begs the question, so if your strategy is just to get into stacking gold and you're new to it and you haven't got the time and resources, energy and effort and willpower to go learning which sovereign date is which and all the rest of it and you probably don't think you're going to do that in, in, in the short to medium term, then I would just stick with new bullion sovereigns, okay? Don't get a best value one because you end up with something like this, okay? And although it's just a sovereign and it will all the same, and obviously if you take it in to sell it or sell it on eBay, you're going to get a bit less for it. It's still a sovereign, but it's just I prefer my stuff to be, it's either going to be, if it's brand new, it's going to be brand new. I don't want it being circulated. I just want off the press in my capsule and in my drawer and if I'm going to invest in an older sovereign then I'm going to do it properly and I'm going to probably get one that's been graded in, in a slab um, and, and probably the reason for that is, is that if, it, if I come to sell it in the future um, I just prefer the fact that if it's got a particularly unusual date or valuable date or it's a particularly rare sovereign that it's going to be much, obviously easy for somebody to verify that it is what it is if it's been slabbed when it comes to shifting on like a 2019, 2020 sovereign, you know, everyone is, it's, it's, it's just is what it is. You know, you are, it's, um, you know, there's probably not a lot of point in getting something like this slabbed, you know? And, um, so there, yeah, that's my thoughts. Um, I guess the other thought is, is why would you even, if you, if you are going to look at an older sovereign, um, you're probably only doing that because of the numismatic, extra that you get for owning it on top of the uh, bullion price so like i said let's say you know um right now in time 2020 this 2019 sovereign 
is probably uh, definitely worth less than this 1899 sovereign slabs okay because I get the same amount of I get the spot price and I'm gonna get extra for this because it's it's old um, it's in pretty good condition it's a reasonable nick AU58 and um, it's got some historical value yeah so it's it's gonna be worth more now whether that's 5%, 10%, 15%, who knows? You know, that's down to the market or to, to decide that, okay? You can't you can't you can't decide how much it's going to be worth. It's the market that will set the price. But there's no doubt that 99% of the time this is going to be worth more than this when I come to sell them, okay? But whether I'll get a lot more for this than this it is down to you know if there's somebody wants an 1899 sovereign who's desperate for one who's been looking all their life for one then they may pay me say 25 percent over spot for this you know or i might take it into a coin dealer and get like three or four percent over spot for it you know so um you have to consider that now i would say that um the on the downside of the gold spot price of gold bullion dropping what you might find you, you could argue that having the slabbed coin will protect you against um, that there's more to it so let's say the gold price is 300 pound for a sovereign and let's say it goes to you know 240 or 250 in a year's time well obviously if it's slabbed and it's got some numismatic value over and above its bullion value then this should hold up better against uh, dipping gold prices um, and it, I would hope that also an older coin that's slabbed and got some historic value to it numismatic value to it um would increase again as time goes on and more and more people enter the market and they look to invest in gold coins which is happening quite a lot now it's quite quite a hot topic um that um it will increase as well it, it's it's um the margin for its numismatic value will go up as well because there'll be less and less of them and more and people more as time goes on you want your asset as a collector to go up in value everyone wants that so you've got two sides of the coin there you got if you know nothing right and i mean you, and you really and don't kid yourself that you're going to suddenly spend weeks and weeks going through um spinks um coin collector manuals and reading up on it and you're going to rush out and try and get a really good um amazing dated sovereign you could find yourself getting swindled and paying overpaying for it on ebay and it actually you, know, you can end up paying i would say if you know if you could pay i've seen people pay 500 pounds for a slabbed sovereign um it was ridiculous you know uh, it wasn't even a great um didn't even have a good grade really i mean it's pretty sad i mean you know they could have gone and bought a bullion sovereign and saved themselves 150 pounds um and that's the risk you're going to take unless you know what you're doing um and the flip side of just buying bullion is it's, it's just bullion you haven't got to worry you've still got a nice coin it's still something you can hold and enjoy and um you haven't got to worry about the risk of um whether what you've bought and paid that extra for over spot because of its so-called numismatic value is going to come and bite you in the future and whether it's you know really going to hold its uh, value or not you can just be happy that you've you've got some gold and um as for the you know when you're buying a bullion coin i would avoid at all costs uh getting best value coins um i would just pay the extra if you can afford it um and um just get a new coin anyway so that's my thoughts on whether you should buy old sovereigns or new sovereigns and um, any comments or questions, leave them on YouTube. See you soon.